We're out here today shooting a really nice custom revolver from uh, Magnum Research. This is the BFR, but this goes through their custom shop, which is uh, in 3 W's uh, custom BFR revolver dot com. And what you can do in there, you know, the BFR has been around a long time. A lot of standard configurations you can get, but you can go in there and build the gun like you want on the website with custom barrel lengths, whatever barrel length you want, custom grip frame. This got the busy grip frame, which is really comfortable to shoot. It's got the uh, white polymer grips on it. It's got a non-standard barrel length. This is the eight and a quarter inch barrel, which gives some really good velocities uh, out here shooting. Uh, I particularly like this load from a uh, Buffalo bore. This is a 435 grain bullet doing 1122 feet per second out of this longer barrel. It's listed at 950. It's doing 1122 with that heavier bullet. They also have a heavier load which is a, a 525 grain. We've also put a different front sight on here. It's a taller front sight to handle the heavier bullets and still keep you on target. Like that uh, 525 grain LBT style hard cast bullet from Buffalo Moore. The dandy load it does. See what it does out of here. Out of this longer barrel it does 1130 feet per second. And this uh, front sight from firmingcgarza.com will keep you on target with that. It screws right on. He got these available for Ruger's, BFR's, uh, good revolvers like that. But this is a good five shot cylinder revolver. One thing I really like it's got a free spin pawl where that cylinder will spin either way. And you run in the knee something like that if you uh, don't crimp your load good, if you're hand load and your bullet jumps out on the recoil, you can turn it back and get it out of there. But that makes it easier to load also. Five shots, they drop right in there. Uh, it's got a good adjustable rear sight on it. Accuracy on this thing, particularly with these uh, 435s, uh, shooting into a ragged hole at 25 yards out of my ransom rest. The jacket hollow point logs, they didn't do near as good, but they were still under two inches at 25 yards. Uh, Ransom did not have an insert for this uh, Magnum Research Busy Grip, but the Freedom Arms Model 83 grip insert worked really well, held it where it needed to be. But accuracy was superb out of here. One reason for that, they got nice accurate barrels and it's fitted tightly. This has got just two thousandths of an inch barrel cylinder gap, which is great. Uh, most of the industry, they're getting sloppy on their barrel cylinder gaps getting up close to ten thousandths of an inch which is too much. You lose velocity, you lose accuracy, it suffers for it. It's got a good tight barrel cylinder grip. It's got a uh, screw in the base pin so your base pin will not jump. Everything about it is just what you want on a nice custom revolver. Anyway, you can go on, uh, on the website and build one of these again at uh, custombfrrevolver.com this uh, load we're fixed to shoot here is a beast of a load. It's the Buffalo Bore 525 grain hard cast gas check bullet running 1130 feet per second out of this. It, 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 it'll take any animal on earth and they have. People's taking them with these things but it's a beast of a load but if you hold the gun right it's comfortable to shoot. You know, if you try to do your tactical cool like you shoot your 9mm it's going to hit you in the head. You can do a good weaver stance, get a good hold on it, it'll run. Buffalo bore load that I really like. It's a 435 grain hard cast gas check bullet running uh, 1122 feet per second. I did say in a quarter inch barrel and it was consistent, really consistent on the velocities. <laughs> 